Hi, I'm Lucy and I will talk about the Scribe Credibility API that I've been working on together with Hadi El Saha as part of the Wikigrad Cred grant. Um, I'm a researcher at the University of Southampton. My research is mostly around multilingual knowledge graphs and Hadi is a researcher at Nava Labs Europe researching on natural language processing. Let me take a step back and talk quickly about Scribe. Scribe basically provides the framework for the Credibility API and Scribe is the original project that started our um, interest in having a Credibility API from Wikipedia. Scribe is a project to support under-resourced Wikipedia editors in creating new articles and there are, many, there are multiple steps to Scribe. So in the ideal we um, have the world's online knowledge and we can provide that to Wikipedia editors to write their articles from. A scribe basically is an intermediate between this world's knowledge and the editor um, where we support the editor in document planning, so structuring the article, getting references and summarizing those references for the editor to work with and then creating a new article in their language. This is a short demo of Scribe, so we can have those suggested sections where an editor can select sections from. And for each of the sections, we display references, which then the editor has a summary of and can add and write about. The idea is that we get those um, references online and we had a lot of discussion of how to display the references. Do we filter them? Do we decide what references to show to an editor? Eventually we decided that the best way to tackle this is to create some kind of notability criteria that we derive from how often this, wiki, uh, this reference, so let's say for example BBC, is already used on Wikipedia in general, how much it is used on their Wikipedia language, how much it is used in their domain, and additional information we can gather from Wikidata, the so-called, we can describe Wikidata as the database of Wikipedia and then display it to an editor. So we decided not to filter out things in Scribe, but to just display those notability criteria to the editor for them to select whether this reference in this context is appropriate or not. And this leads us to the Scribe Credibility API. So basically what we saw is that we have this big need of understanding what references are already used on Wikipedia and how much they are used across different articles. And so what we did basically is to say we have a Wikipedia article, so for here, here for example the article about Bruce Willis, and we have a list of references on this article. Um, we now extract this list of references from all the Wikipedia articles of one language Wikipedia, enrich it with Wikidata, in particular with the Wikidata entity ID for this article, and add this in structured information to a database. So this is an example for Academy Awards. So the Wikipedia page Academy Awards, this is one reference on this um, page, is from BBC News, it has a title, it has a date and some other information. The main thing that we extract also is the URL domain, so newsbbc.co.uk, um, which basically helps us then to understand how many articles have been referenced from BBC, so not only the exact link to the BBC article. In total, we're focusing on online references. On total, we extracted around 1 million references collected across 10 Wikipedia languages. You can see some of the numbers here. As I said, so we focus specifically on online references, so anything that has a URL, that's our focus here, um, purely because that is mostly what we also need in the Scrap project. And here you can see some information about um, how many references we have. Um, we sampled four language versions here, English, Arabic, Catalan, Japanese. The total number of online references, the references per article. So while we, for example, can see that English has a very high number of reference per article, this is a limited um, number in its 
in its meaning, just because, as I said, we only look at online references. There is a chance that, well, Catalan has less articles than Japanese, uh, less references per article than Japanese, for example. This might just be because Catalan references more books. So this is not a statement that I want to make right now, but that is a possible explanation as well. More interesting, however, is the domain usage. So what we looked on here is how often has one domain in average been used across articles. So in English, for example, we can say that the same domain in average is used 4.6 times um, in 4.6 articles. Um, the median for all of those languages is one. So this suggests that there is some room for improvement when it comes to reusing already existing reliable sources on Wikipedia. Going back now to the credibility API. So basically we said you now have this collection of references um, across those 10 Wikipedia languages and we want to make this accessible also to other people. So Scribe is a very good use case but there are many many other use cases we can think of where knowing how Wikipedia references can be very useful for reuse. We uh, built the uh, credibility API based on MongoDB and we wanted to make it as open for reuse as possible. So basically we use just the MongoDB find, that's the access to the, um, to the API and therefore you can query anything on this API from directly from the database. We have a certain set API fields, so we have the page, which is the name of the Wikipedia article, so for example, Ellen Turing. We have the QID, that is the Wikidata entity ID in the form of, um, for example, Q64 is Berlin, or Ellen Turing would be Q5271, I think. Um, and then we have the title of the reference, the URL of the reference, and as I said, the URL domain, so the shortened, just the domain of the reference, so we can do some statistics about it. And there's other reference metadata, such as date and um, the time it been last accessed, and so on. And that is just where we find it, basically, in the annotations of the articles from Wikipedia editors, we add this meta information as well. This is what the landing page of the Scribe um, reference API looks like. And now I want to just go into a few examples. Basically, if I want to have a query such as give me all the references on all Alan Turing articles across languages using Wikidata, for example, um, we have, as I said, uh, Q7251 is the uh, QID on Wikidata for the entity for Alan Turing that then is connected to all the language Wikipedia articles. Um, we can make a query in the format where we query for this QID and then we get back all the references across all the languages for all the articles about Alan Turing. Um, there are just a few more examples here. As I said, everything works with the find query. Find query. Um, you can find all references for Alan Turing across languages or you could also find all references for Alan Turing um, on the English Wikipedia by just accessing the title of the page in English. Uh, thank you so much for your attention. Um, it's a very short overview of the Scribe Credibility API. I hope you can use it. Um, we're very excited to see what reuse can be done and what projects can be done using the Wikipedia references in a more structured format. Thank you very much.